Good morning everybody and um, this morning we are going to be looking at the next virus which is happily called the spinner. So um, it's a spinner, it is made from um, using a 10p piece as one of the shapes, obviously using our 4 inch square first of all to give us our working area and um, we, we work from there. So. Using our trusty ruler, if we make um, a cross uh, to find the centre of our working area and then using that centre piece there to place on our 10p piece and draw our first circle with our trusty fabric pen. And then um, using the outer area, we're going to be using um, the 10p piece again to make four circles. What you'll find is that you'll have a space of around one inch. So if you wanted to use uh, the ruler to make the one inch uh, marker first before using your circle, you could do, uh, which would be more accurate um, because this one looks slightly over one inch there, but hey ho. Um, having made the circles, we then want to um, Establish that your circle is going to be again <clears throat> about one inch. So if you make um, a small mark to denote the middle of the circle uh, on each of them, and then using your space to connect, um, draw two parallel lines very close together, uh, which will be our stitching lines. While we do that, if we can mark the middle of that line, um, which will be on the half inch mark and then turning your rule around if you then draw a one inch um, line intersecting there that will be a, a stitching guide and that will be a stitch that we'll be making from that line out and then uh, working along that side and then when we come back along this side we'll be going from that line out so that will mark our longest stitch so if you do that on all of them, I've just done that on the two, it might look a bit complicated, but it, it is quite simple really. It's just five circles with uh, connecting double lines and then we're making, we're marking the centre marks of our circles and we're marking the centre mark of our line. So having done that, what are we going to do? We're going to be working in blanket stitch which we've not worked in before and which most of us remember from school. Um, I'm using, or I will be using, um, three colours which are, are autumnal colours really. Um, on the basis this is called the spinner, um, then I thought some um, brownie colours might be nice, but again you use whatever you have available. And I've just um, done this in some brighter colours uh, for the camera to uh, hopefully pick up what we're doing. So if we remember the blanket stitch, what we want to be doing is bringing our needle up uh, to start our work at the front. And then on the circle, it's a little bit easier because we're going to be finding that center part point that we've already marked. And we're going to be using that every time um, to put, put down our needle. So um, that's gonna make it fairly easy. So all we're doing on this on the outer edge is we're moving the uh, width of the actual stitch. So if we take our needle down in the middle and we hold the um, we hold the yarn back with our thumb. So we're not going to pull it tight. We're just holding it back, and then we're going to bring our needle back up at the on the outer edge of the circle. Um, at the appropriate distance for our stitch and then we, we pull that and then holding again with our thumb we go back down that centre line that centre point and we come back up on the outside at the same width so we, we create a series of nice neat stitches you can see here that looks slightly uh, wider than where I've joined it, but uh, I did that last night, so I'm obviously not in the same 
stitch mode as I was last night or um, the other possibility is that this particular wool that I'm using today is um, looks slightly rougher and fluffier than the wool I was using last night. Any excuse should we say. So I'm just going to um, do this last stitch and then show you how we work the lines. Okay, so you'll see that <clears throat> I've already worked uh, some demonstration lines here. We're going to be using um, that centre mark if, if that we marked on before as our longest stitch. So if you bear in mind that's going to be our longest stitch, we want three stitches, one, two, three, one, two, three, either side of that longest line to create this um, sort of oval curve shape. And again, it is blanket stitch that we're using. So I'm just going to um, continue on here just to simply show you um, how it works. So thinking that this is where we've um, brought our, our first um, uh, yarn up from, the needle up from, hold it out of the way and we take our first point, bring him back up. So the needle is going to be in line with the um, with the point at the top, which it isn't quite there, so we'll bring it in. Make sure that, that that is looped over. Okay, so we need two more, two more stitches to bring him up to there. Now you might, if, if you want, you could draw a line in from there, which will give you um, a line to work to and might be an awful lot easier. Okay, so that's your line that you're working to. If you want to do more than three stitches, one, two, three. Okay, so we've got big gaps here. If you want to do them closer together, you can. It's entirely up to you. So if I'm doing, oops, see, I've just made a terrible mistake there and I've brought the, I've brought the needle through when I shouldn't. Right, so we're going through the top there. Move that out of the way. See, I've done this again. I'm not concentrating now. I'm trying to think of too many other things. So. I'm using the, the blunt end of the needle just to poke poke it back down the hole I've just come up. At least that makes a nice marker for me to come back. Oh, see, I'm about to do this again. Makes a nice marker for me to go down through. I right, to concentrate, woman. There we go. Just doing the last one for now to show you okay so that's how it's looking so we're taking it up to this apex here the highest point and the longest stitch and then we'll take it back down again so um, onwards and upwards, I hope you um, manage all right with that. Just a final look at that design. Five circles uh, connected by double lines. Um, what, we're, what we'll be doing with this, with this is we'll be working all the way along and then we can turn our design round and then we're going to do exactly the same on this side. So again, you can, you can mark that, that line to work to. So you're going to be working all the way along this side, turn the design around and then work back along that side to create this um, curved shape. Okay, good luck with that.